Hello there, Aquarius. Um, I was telling the uh, two previous signs, Sagittarius and Capricorn, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter reading. I am um, experiencing severe time constraints. I'm traveling. So um, this reading is going to be, you know, 20 minutes max. Okay, so I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, first of all, I, I'm going to relay the messages that I saw, the images that I saw for you before we get the cards out. So there's a lot of movement happening for you. I'm seeing like um, waves, okay? So this is not like, you know, things coming in waves. This is more like a lot of movement, a lot of wind blowing in one direction. Your life is getting, is going to be getting a major acceleration. Things are happening in a really quick short time frame so i want you to be mentally emotionally prepare for that making sure that you prepare your body okay so that means you know really taking care of your body um exercising eating right sleeping getting enough sleep because with all the activities that are in store for you you know until the end of the month you're going to need to be in your top um shape like in in top form to be flexible and nimble and to you know uh, think fast on your toes okay so i feel like uh, preparing your body ahead of this energy is going to be a lot um, better for you in the long run. So the first image that I saw was, um, I see this uh, train platform. It's like a, a metro platform and it, it seems like it's back in the days, probably in the um, 20s or the 30s. And because people um, were like, I, I see people wearing their suits and wearing their top hat, like fedoras, top hat with the little flowers sticking out of the, the hair and the veil. So that's what I'm sensing or that's what I'm seeing. And I see this man, he's wearing like a brown coat and slacks and he's on the platform and on the train, the train's about to disembark, is this woman, she's wearing like a hoop dress. So her dress is a little bit big and she's looking out the window and she's kind of like waving goodbye to him there's a little bit of a teardrop on her face like she's happy to be going wherever it is that she's going but she's also really sad because she's not going to see him you know at her destination so she's saying goodbye to him uh, she has a white handkerchief out and she's like blotting away her tears and then um, she like reaches out through the window to say goodbye and you see the, the white handkerchief kind of like flapping in the wind. So I feel like for many of you, you're ready to embark on a journey, like a major, either like a physical or an emotional voyage, okay? I feel for many of you, this is like a trip, like a major voyage, something that is uh, long distance, okay? So you're traveling far away, you're contemplating a next relocation even possibly, or you're taking a really, really long trip and you don't know what the future has in store for you. You're very happy, but at the same time, you understand that this is going to be a very, very major transformative phase or point in your life where the things that you're going to experience in your next environment is uh, going to, I want to say, set you apart from the world that you have previously known, okay? So that's what I'm sensing. And I kept seeing that white hanky uh, flapping in the wind. And I feel like, you know, it's sort of like that white flag. It's the sign of surrendering. Surrendering, not knowing what's in store, but not controlling things. Surrendering and allowing things to happen and surrendering to, you know, whatever it is that you feel. Because like I said, with Aquarius people, you guys rarely show your emotions and, you know, crying and public display of emotions or affection in general is, is just not something that you're comfortable with and it's not something that Aquarius people do but the fact that she's uh, she's got tears streaming down her face and the man is looking at her and she's saying goodbye it basically denotes that you're okay with um, allowing yourself to appear vulnerable you're okay to show this person how you feel you're okay that they can see you crying because you know you you might trust them so you're okay with letting them know but i also feel like this sense of surrendering like i don't have you know any it's like I, i've got nothing to lose i don't need to worry about how this people sees me i can be open and honest with my emotions with my feelings with my thoughts and you know and and not 
be afraid that I'm feeling vulnerable. Yeah, there's a lot of movement here. Um, the globe moving from one side to the next. Okay, so one side is the sun and the other side is the moon. So it's the transition of night into day. For many of you, this voyage might be overnight. For others of you, this is like f um, traveling through airways where you're crossing across many different time zones, okay? So there's a major voyage that you're planning on embarking uh, on. And I feel like some of you might be planning it, some of you might be implementing it within the next few days, others of you within the next month, but I definitely feel travel and movement for you. Um, where, what else was I going to say? So I feel like the transition is really, really scary because where you are or where you were, where, where you are right now or where you were if you've already undertaken this um, voyage, the world seems to me to be very, very small. Where you're headed, there's a world of possibilities. So you're going to grow, you're going to learn, you're going to expand. And a lot of the times when we have seen so much of the world and then we go back to where we once were, everything seems a lot smaller, right? It's sort of like if for those of you, like it, let's say in um, in high school, right, you have a room in your parents' house and you decorate the room and then you move away for college. And then, you know, you're in your finish your first year or your first semester. You've met a lot of cool people. You've met amazing, inspiring uh, um, professors. You've met a lot of uh, new friends and then you go back home to your town or wherever your parents are living and you revisit your room. It feels a lot smaller. It feels a little bit like claustrophobic. It feels like the old world doesn't have enough for you anymore. That's what it feels like here. And so those tears streaming down the woman's face, it's not so much about, you know, sadness and apprehension and fear about moving or even missing another person. I don't feel like it's about that. I feel like it's about understanding that, you know what? There's a major transition that's happening for me and my life is not going to be the same. I'm, I'm going to be looking at the world through a bigger lens. And so whatever I experience here is going to be very transformative for me mentally, emotionally and physically. And once that tra transition happens or once all of the changes like really sinks in, I can't go back to my old life anymore because it's not going to feel like there's enough. Does that make sense? So I feel like that's what, where the surrendering hap is happening. It's like surrendering to the process. Surrendering that there is going to be something else better out there. And understanding that, you know, we, we are constantly growing. And we really should grab new opportunities, not let our life stagnate. Because we're meant to grow, to learn, and to change. Okay, so I feel like that's a, a whole maturation process that's happening for many, many of you. Um, there's another message that I saw. Oh, so I see a campfire, like a little bonfire um, in the woods. So it's a clear sky, uh, clear night, clear. You can see um, there are no clouds in the sky. So it's not, it's not like it's going to rain. It's outdoors. And there are a lot of stars twinkling in the sky and you have this bonfire and you have about like six, five, six people. One person is like the leader leading this group and he's playing the guitar and everyone is singing along. So he's playing some type of a bluegrass or, you know, um, Western cowboy type of a, um, music and everyone is singing along. So he, he's like um, strumming the guitar, singing, and then he points to one person and then that person sings that line and then another person sings another line. So it's, it's something that's very communal. And then I also see this bottle. It looks like a bottle of wine or like a, a little flask of something being passed around and everyone takes a little bit of a swig and they're having a really uh, amazing time okay so there's a sense of gathering at night a lot of socializing uh finding a kindred like community of people so for many of you um you're no longer in isolation you're being brought into the community of people and i've been mentioning this um the past few readings for you guys for the, like the past few months and so i see this this energy re-emerging 
where you're joining the social order, you're being、um, kind of like initiated into a community of people that are really. It's like the 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 people you're with. You don't have to guess ulterior motives. You trust them. You have a lot of fun with them, and you feel like they're family. Okay, I do see almost like this whole concept about souls reuniting, and soulmates are not always romantic. Soulmates can always be, you know, family. Can be friends. Can be mentors. Can be people who help us spiritually along. Or people in the same soul group that have the same purpose in life, and they're headed towards in the same direction. So I'm going to use this card here. They're headed in the same direction when it comes to their dreams, their ideals, and their aspirations. So I feel like many of you are definitely some type of、um, the stars are aligned. Like you're being in alignment with your soul's purpose, and you're meeting a community of people who are also in alignment with their soul. Purpose that might actually be on the same path as you, and the reason that I say that is we have the stars here. We have the two of wands. Somebody working behind the scenes to facilitate this amazing synchronistic、uh, experience for you, where you can meet people who are very much like-minded. Okay,、um, for those who are self-employed. You could even be working with、um, for other people, but if you're getting like commission checks, royalty fees, or if you are self-employed, money looks really, really good right now. Okay, this is you like over,、um, like flying over all of your emotion.、Uh, I'm sorry, financial worries. So having assets, allowing things to grow for you, having money in the bank, being safe, and having enough money where it can help you facilitate travel without worries, without anxieties. So. If you are traveling to, I feel like you know this is like being protected, okay? So somebody is giving you like the, it's like, I don't know what it's called when you're on the airplane. I don't know if it's like tailwind, where you know the the airplane is like going in the same、um, direction as the wind. So it's getting a little bit of a boost. So some something's working behind the scenes spiritually to kind of like facilitate the travel process for you, to expedite that process for you, or to ease the.、Um, The snags, so that you don't have, you know,、um, so that you don't have to worry about accommodations. You don't have to worry about lodging. Somebody is working behind the scenes to、uh, facilitate that process for you, so that you don't have to worry. Okay, so smooth travel, smooth sailing is what I'm seeing, and I also feel like if you are working in whatever capacity, money is coming in. There's a lot of financial prosperity associated with this King of Pentacles. This is like someone who's very practical and、uh, very down to earth when it comes to their spending. They know how to save money. They know how to save for a rainy day. They know how to put away money. They know how to invest, and they're just you know they're they're not spending frivolously. So I don't see emotional spending. I see you getting a really firm grip when it comes to your financial situation, and especially for those who are self-employed, I see you reinvesting a lot of resources either back into your home. Because this is somebody who manages real estate and property. So for some of you who own property, who、uh, have like multiple、um, income streams, in particular, if you're renting out property,、um, I see you reinvesting in your home, the maintenance and the upkeep of your home. But also, you're in a position where property value is really、um, in increasing. So you're getting a lot more. Like if you're looking to refinance, I feel like you know the the market right now is really good for that. I believe, and then I also feel like you don't have to worry so much about your financial resources. So you're in a really stable position for those, particularly who are self-employed, who are working for themselves, who are dictating their own hours. And I feel like you know money is coming in very plentifully. Okay. What I also have here, and this is your energy, Aquarius. We have here the star, and the star is somebody who's very, very independent. Okay, you guys are like self-sufficient. You know exactly what you're doing. You don't need another person to bounce ideas off of. You're also somebody who likes to keep your cards close to your chest, and I feel like、um, you don't need a lot of time to mull things over. You come up and formulate a plan. For example, if you want to start a business, you formulate a plan. You don't,、um, and I feel like you make things happen for yourself. Okay, so this is somebody who's very inspiring to be with. They have a lot of cool ideas, and then once they kind of like、um, 
bring that forth into the world it always come to fruition and it never flops so this is someone who's really inspiring to talk to so i feel like a lot of people will be coming in wanting to pick your brains wanting to talk to you wanting to communicate with you and wanting to like really um learn from you okay so you're you're seen as someone who's very like magnetic in in a not in a forceful way some people have a lot of charisma and they dominate conversation this is someone who's very soft their energy is very spiritual their energy is very low-key but they exude a really strong aura so i feel like the way that you're coming across is someone who's very well traveled a globe trotter a person that hails from different environment from that has traveled and lived in multiple continents that knows multiple languages that is seen as a like a very worldly classy and a world traveler on top of that you're very very inspiring to be with in addition you are also self-employed uh, career-wise you're on top of your field you're highly respected highly regarded you are financially you know self-sufficient you don't need another person to take care of you you're very independent this is like the singles lady uh, uh, card okay so this is someone who can take care of themselves and they don't need um, validation from other people and they don't really need another person in their lives they, they like their alone time and they like their independence and we have as well the Empress and once again somebody who rules her domain uh, they know what they're talking about and when they talk they have a, an air of authority so all the energies from the bottom of the deck or the bottom row in the spread all feminine energies okay you could be male or female watching this it doesn't matter but I feel like there's a lot of female empowerment happening here um, coming into terms with the divine feminine um, feeling attractive in your own skin feeling self-sufficient feeling really really good about your station in life and feeling like you've got everything under control ruling your domain doing things in a very graceful and classy manner not being forceful not being pushy not being controlling this is someone who's really open and honest and understanding but at the same time um they don't they, they don't just sit there and listen to other people's problems they make um, they, they find solutions for other people they're more into like you know in, in terms of like group work let's uh, see how we all can resolve this let's crowdsource let's um, uh, give each other ideas and, and give each other feedback so there's a lot of growth here there's a lot of expansion and there's a lot of this sense of uh, camaraderie because the Empress she rules over empires as well but she does it in a very um, soft manner not with like military vessels and you know attacks and, and being on the offensive this is somebody that addresses problems and she makes sure that things are maintained on a regular basis throughout her empire so she hears grievances and she you know consults others in order to get uh, like to find a solution to air out or address these grievances so it's somebody who doesn't rule with an iron fist but they have total control and respect of their domain and their territory and so what I'm sensing here Aquarius you're coming into this sense of um, like general softness about you where you're very very much open okay but when I have here the Queen of Swords this is still somebody whose head is on their shoulders okay um, someone who looks at life with a healthy dose of skepticism okay so it's not like you're walking to a situation head in the clouds starry-eyed and naive you're still looking at things very objectively you're able to communicate very well and you're able to see both sides of the story okay that um, more like Libra and energy you're exhibiting that energy where you can see on the one hand on the other hand and you're able to make or arrive at practical solutions in order to resolve issues I do see a very strong soulmate connection here that you have with another person this person is coming in as an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn and this is somebody who's very financially well off um, I see someone who is dressed really really nicely they work in an office where they have to wear you know for example if it's a male if you're dating men um, they have to wear like a suit ties and you know dress shoes they're 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 dressed very immaculately like they're just very clean very um you know white collar like that type of an office environment this is someone who might have properties they might be a business owner or they might own their own home 
and they're just very financially stable they're very practical when it comes to their resources okay this is also somebody who is um a little bit shy i see a shyness about this person um, I see a little bit of a stalemate here because both parties are afraid to show their cards. Um, he doesn't, this person, he or she, they don't really express their feelings. They do things to show you that they care. They're not ones to sit around and ask, how are you feeling? What can I do to make you feel better? They, they don't ask those things. If, for example, if, uh, if you've been sick, they're gonna ask you, hey, um, I have notes from the day that you were sick. Do you wanna copy my notes? If they see that you're stressed out, they'll offer to do the laundry. They'll offer to do things around the house to, to, to alleviate the burden. If they see that you're sick, they're not gonna sit there and like cuddle with you. They'll ask you, do you need me to get you food? Do you need me to get you medicine? So this is someone who loves in a very, very practical way. And I feel like they're reaching out, showing you and, and giving you little, um, gifts or little tokens of appreciation or little things that make you feel very appreciated and then with your energy aquarius i feel like you're still a little bit skeptical like i'll believe it if i see it okay so you're not like starry-eyed and naive you're definitely your head is planted straight on your body and you're assessing and analyzing and being very very rational when it comes to love and relationships when it comes to what this person has to offer and really looking at this person not just as you know someone who's attractive but you're seeing does this person have you know relationship potential is this long term is this for the long haul for some of you who are dealing with an uh, air sign aquarius gemini and libra um or even an earth sign so you might be dealing with both of these people i also feel like there's a really strong kindred soulmate connection okay um i believe capricorns also receive this card so you, for some of you if you're dealing with a capricorn um i feel like there's a really strong power couple dynamics here one person is very financially stable the other person is really intelligent one person might be very, very clean. The other person is kind of like a, like a mad genius. And you know, Aquarius, a lot of Aquarius people, um, you can be very, very absent-minded and your environment is always like organized chaos, okay? Uh, not that you're not clean. It's just, you know, orderliness and, and, and um, putting things back where they belong. Those are not, those things are just not high on your priorities list. And so I feel like a lot of people look at your life and they're just like, wow, that person's a mad genius. But I feel like you're very intelligent. Someone sees your intelligence and really appreciates that and really wants to pick your brain and really likes the, the conversations that you, you, you have with one another. But I also feel underneath it is this undercurrent here about, you know, um, having somebody that you feel very emotionally safe with. Uh, finally, this is like nesting instinct, okay? This card, Two of Cups, the soulmate connection. But the Empress, as independent as you are, when you meet the one that you want to settle down with, um, you know. And so I feel like for Aquarius, there's this nesting instinct that's really kicking in. It hasn't been there before, but you're meeting somebody or you're made aware that, wow, this is a, a really good person. This is somebody not only, you know, are they reliable and stable? Not only are they a really good caretaker. Um, I don't mind having children with this person. Or you guys are so um, compatible when it comes to your belief system, your ideologies. There's this power couple dynamics. You might be on the same career path. You might meet each other because your paths have crossed professionally. And you're just like, this is a really good person and this person really compliments me. So there's a lot of mutual respect here. I also feel like if you've been kind of like um, down in the dumps, um, suffer from, you know, bad relationships in the past, you're still in this gray state, okay? You're trying to do a lot of healing for yourself with the star card. And then this person is bringing in a lot of warmth, a lot of trust. A lot of commitment and they make you feel so incredibly safe Aquarius that you start to feel the the warm and the the fuzziness returning to your life and you're starting to feel like you know you're trying to fight this this soulmate connection 
I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm, you know, ready to give up my independence in order to join into a union with this other person because you're really, really afraid that relationships will tie you down and you will be constantly, you know, having to spend time with another person. I don't know why, but Aquarius are really, really afraid of losing their, their freedom. And they feel that relationships can be very restricting and it can limit your um, free time. Like you can't be alone anymore. You have to, you know, hang out with the other person. And if you have to do hang out with them like 24 seven, you don't want to get bored of them. But there is a fear as well. If they find out everything about me, will they also be bored of me? And Aquarius, you, you are so dynamic and so quirky and unique. No one will really get bored of you. So I feel like there's a fear here about, you know, intimacy and commitment. But I also feel like you've got nothing to worry about because this other person, they're busy as well. They're as busy as you are. So they don't need a lot of uh, together time. They give you your space. You have your independence. So you don't have to worry about losing your time to yourself or your own sense of independence when you're in a relationship with this person. And then on the other hand, I also feel like there's somebody in your environment i have here the nine of swords and this card has been coming out a lot for you guys needing enough sleep okay needing to get enough sleep taking care of your body taking care of yourself restoring your mental agility by letting your mind rest okay so don't stay up too late watching movies don't stay up too late wondering about things that will never happen or you know thinking about worst case scenario or re um, replaying things in your mind because it's a lot of wasted energy. You need to be at your sharpest. So you need to get enough sleep. Let your, it's, it's almost like, um, you know how your phone, right? If you use it all day, it runs out of battery. You have to recharge it. Your mind is the same way. Let it recharge. Otherwise, it's going to crash and die on you. Okay, metaphorically. So that means you need to allow your batteries to recharge so that you don't burn out. Okay, so I feel like you need to sleep, you need to take it easy, you really need to enjoy your environment. Sit around that bonfire with a group of friends, you know, have that communal experience where you can just sing along, where you can just enjoy the, the night sky and the, the bonfire and the music. So allowing yourself to just, you know, take whatever that comes in, okay? So that means um, go with the flow, okay? allowing yourself to really see all these um, social engagement, all these opportunities around you and being flexible, all right? So I'm gonna leave it at that, uh, Aquarius. I said 20 minutes, but it's 27, but I'm glad. Either way, this is a really, really happy, you know, two weeks that's coming through where there's a lot of, com uh, sen a huge sense of community as well as a huge sense of, um, I feel like, coming together with another person and it's a really strong soulmate connection that you have right here okay um i will leave it at that and um for those who are interested in a private reading i have a, a link in the description box below for a psychic out of california her name is bridget she is really amazing so i highly recommend you get a reading with her and i will be back in about two weeks time for your may reading okay take care of yourself and i'll talk to you guys soon have a wonderful rest of april take care